welcome to your virtual ceremony celebration. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. We are delighted that we've been able to hold this presentation for you. Before we begin, we have some housekeeping information. We will start today's ceremony with an introduction from Vice-Chancellor Professor Tim Blackman. We will then continue with the presentation of graduates and to conclude, there will be a personal address from the Vice-Chancellor. Depending on the device you're watching the broadcast on today, you'll be able to change your screen view. We would suggest putting your screen in presenter view to view all videos and live content in full screen. You can select gallery view if you want to see everyone in your breakout room, but it will make the videos appear smaller as one grid screen. Please enable your microphone and keep it unmuted at your end so that you can join in the round of applause during and after each group's names are announced. The technical team will ensure your audio will not be broadcast outside of these moments. We would like to remind everyone that today's event is being recorded and it is currently being live streamed on YouTube. The recording will also be available after the event. Thank you for taking part. We hope you enjoy it. Also to these problems are our plans for a university of the air. It's designed to provide an opportunity for those who for one reason or another have not been able to take advantages of higher education. Let's say you're one of those people. One of those who think where you start in life shouldn't limit where you go. One of those who think a university shouldn't just be, well, a university. Let's say you're one of us, and together we are the open university. Open to all of us, all of the time. Not some of us, some of the time. We are a movement of millions, a mission of one. We are disruptors, occasional troublemakers, game changers. We are the fuel for imagination, chasing comets, making the impossible, possible. We are restless in our drive to see progress that touches us all, inspiring students to become ministers and midwives, barristers and teachers, tech entrepreneurs, business gurus and more. Our cause goes beyond being an innovative way of learning and our future lies in continuing to build that cause. We are the people who open up the future of learning. This is how we shape the future. Let's say you are one of those people who believe what we believe. One of those excited by possibility. Let's say you are one of us. We can't wait to open up millions of futures. And with your help, we can. Hi, my name is Sarah Jones and I'm the Students Association President and I'd like to say how proud we are of your achievements. Like you, I have studied and completed my studies with the OU. Whilst the achievement is down to my hard work, like you, I couldn't have accomplished what I've done without the support of my friends, my family, my fellow students, my tutors and the staff at the OU. To be an OU student means balancing work, 
home, family life and studying and caring responsibilities to reach your goals is a superhuman feat. Underneath your graduation gowns and smart clothes, you all wear superhero outfits. I know many of you will have done what I did and stayed up late or got up in the wee small hours to get the final TMA submitted or tried hard to find a space and time to do remote exams. Managing the difficulties of studying alongside the extra pressures that work and life bring means your achievements must be celebrated in style. Oh, you students are remarkable. Your accomplishments overwhelm me with pride. Hearing your stories of the things that you've done come through and the things and life that has happened around you for you to be able to claim your degree. Having babies, losing loved ones, changing work and supporting families and getting that support back on the road to your degree are amazing. Today, we celebrate your success and the immense proud that you should feel in yourselves. Graduates, we salute you and we raise a glass to you. Congratulations and welcome to the family. Hi, I'm Martha and I'm your Chancellor. And I just wanted to say well done and congratulations on reaching the amazing milestone that is an Open University degree. There have been many things about this horrible pandemic that we've all been wrestling with, but I can honestly say that not being able to do degree ceremonies and meet all the amazing students at our university has been one of the big losses for me personally. I really hope that we'll be able to see each other face to face again soon. But in the meantime, I just wanted to say that you have done an incredible thing. People talk about part-time learners for the Open University, but I think we all know you are actually double-time learners, often holding down jobs, often looking after family members, caring for children, dealing with tough circumstances in your own lives. So congratulations. Hallelujah. You made it. You are going to go on and do incredible and remarkable things with what you've learnt. This is just the first stage of your journey and you should be immensely proud to be ever, forever part of a network of people who have completed Open University degrees. Have a great celebration. Good luck. Stay safe. Stay sane. Hello and welcome to today's virtual degree ceremony. I'm Professor Kevin Shakechef, Pro Vice Chancellor for Research, Enterprise and Scholarship. And it's my real pleasure to preside over today's presentation. By the authority given in the statutes of the Open University, I declare this virtual ceremony open for the presentation of graduates. I'm delighted to welcome you to today's event, along with those watching who are supporters and friends of the university. The Open University awards a range of qualifications that you've all worked so hard for, from certificates of higher education to doctorates. Each year, we present graduates for their qualifications at our physical degree ceremonies held in towns and cities throughout England, in Belfast, Glasgow, Dublin and Cardiff. And it's a real shame that we're not able to meet up in person today, but we are really excited to be able to add today's virtual experience um, and have an opportunity to celebrate your success. You're graduating from the largest university in Europe with an extraordinary scale, scope and reach. That success is down to what our graduates achieve and not just the qualification you're presented for today, but the difference that you'll make with it. So it goes without saying that this is a very important occasion in the life of you, your families and loved ones, as well as the university and my colleagues who I hope you will feel nurtured and supported you. Please do celebrate your achievement and post messages or photos on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And please use the hashtag OUFamily to share your congratulations and celebrations with many others. We will now see the presentation of graduates able to join us today, which will be followed by my personal address to graduates. Good afternoon and welcome to today's virtual ceremony presentation. My name is Toby Scott Hughes and I'm the Assistant Director of Operations in Assessment, Credit and Qualifications and it is my absolute pleasure to present graduates for their qualifications today. I'd also like to welcome graduates, family, friends and staff who are watching today's live stream and I'm delighted you are joining us to celebrate the success and achievements of our students. In a moment I will read out the names of each group of students 
Graduates, you will appear on screen in a group and your audio will be turned on. Please make sure your microphone is on so we can all hear your reactions and applause at the end of your group and at the end of the ceremony. Hopefully everyone watching will join in as well. Pro Vice Chancellor, I shall now present graduates who have gained higher degrees and have been able to join us today. For the degree of Master of Arts in Classical Studies, Lee Palmer. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Charlotte Jamnadas. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Sharman Morris. Yes. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Sarah Radici Osland. For the degree of Master of Business Administration, Leadership Practice, Helen Edmonds. Thank you. For the degree of Master of Business Administration Leadership Practice, Mark Hanna. Congratulations to all of you. I shall now present those graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Art History, with First Class Honours, Kelly Peaty. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Creative Writing and Art History, with First Class Honours, Sarah Little. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Arts and Humanities, Creative Writing, with First Class Honours, Chris Clark. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, Accounting, with honours, Leanne Stoneman. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, Innovation and Enterprise, with first class honours, Olivia McIntyre. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, Leadership Practice, with honours, Matthew Locke. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, Marketing, with honours, Camille Winspear. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, with first class honours, Hayley Crawford. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management, with first class honours, Alice Davies. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management with First Class Honours, Natasha Murphy. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management with Honours, Neva Magassa. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management with Honours, Victoria Mara. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Management with Honours, Anne McIntyre. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Business Studies with Honours, Gemma Walsh. Thank you. Congratulations to you all. I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with Honours, Danielle Carlin. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with Honours, Catherine Greer. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with Honours, Charlotte Keogh.
for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with Honours, Cindy Sutcliffe. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with Honours, Lucy Williams. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Childhood and Youth Studies with Honours, Leah Woods. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Classical Studies with Honours, Lui Xu Tsing. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Criminology and Psychology with First Class Honours, Bridget Braun. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Criminology and Psychology with Honours, Elizabeth Bennett. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Design and Innovation with First Class Honours, Catherine Champness. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Early Years with Honours, Kirsty Fern. Congratulations, everyone. I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primary with First Class Honours, Maria Stevens. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primary with First Class Honours, Rihanna Tween. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primary with Honours, Kelly Cooper. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primary with Honours, Chloe Cosway. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primary with Honours, Emily Glover. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Education Studies Primary with Honours, Rebecca Spencer. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Language and Literature with Honours, Tamara Mauhofer. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Literature and Creative Writing with Honours, Eugene Griffin. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in English Literature with Honours, Andrew Davidson. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Environmental Studies with Honours, Anna Mello. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Health and Social Care with Honours, Alfred Amara. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Health and Social Care with Honours, Marianne Field. Thank you. Well done to all of you. I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History with honours, Andrew Bell Smith. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History with honours, Louise Curry. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in History with Honours, Henriette Butchiva Wolf. Woo! 
for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Humanities, History and Religious Studies with honours, Shabana Chowdhury. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in International Studies with honours, Rebecca Ali. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Language Studies with English and Spanish with honours, Claire Achille. Yeah. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Language Studies with English and Spanish with honours, Joel Elms. And for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Music with honours, Neve Boland. A huge well done to all of you. Oh, well done. <laughs> I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who have gained Bachelor of Arts degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Psychological Studies with honours, Aidan Cameron. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, Criminology, with First Class Honours, Holly Farron. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, Geography, with Honours, Vicky Harris. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences, Politics, with Honours, Catherine Beek. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Youth Work with First Class Honours, Shannon Hyde. <laughs> For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with First Class Honours, Margaret Fuget Debar. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with First Class Honours, Amanda Holden. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with First Class Honours, Peng Lan. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with Honours, Sophia Akhtar. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with Honours, Syed Ali. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts Open with Honours, Margaret Santos. Congratulations, everyone. I shall now present graduates who have gained Bachelor of Laws degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with First Class Honours, Violet Abuwaji. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with First Class Honours, Tanya Jones. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Sergio Aroni Narvaez. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Megan Connors. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Karen Evans. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Amy Fraser. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Emma Smith. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Paola Valditaro. Well done to all of you.
I shall now present graduates who have gained Bachelor of Science degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Adult Nursing, with honours, Emily Bagnall. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Combined STEM, with honours, Shauna Kears. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Criminology and Psychological Studies, with honours, Sarah Grejaj. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Environmental Management and Technology, with honours, Nathaniel Poffin. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Forensic Psychology, with first class honours, Nicola Cook. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, with honours, William Ashworth. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, with honours, Oliver Wrighton. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling, with First Class Honours, Tiffany Crookall. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling, with First Class Honours, Eden Henderson Rowe. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling, with First Class Honours, Nicola Smith. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling with Honours, Lonnie O'Connor. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Counselling with Honours, Katrina Whitehouse. Very well done to each of you. <laughs> I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who have gained Bachelor of Science degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with First Class Honours, Josie Zerins. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with First Class Honours, Abigail Leavers. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with First Class Honours, Samantha Osborne. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with First Class Honours, Claudia Pavey. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with First Class Honours, Nishat Tahira. Hello. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Susan Brandrick. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Kelly Marie Maycock. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Shanika Nelson. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology with Honours, Kerry Palmer. Congratulations, everyone.
I shall now continue with the presentation of graduates who have gained Bachelor of Science degrees. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Social Psychology with First Class Honours, Brandon McLaughlin. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Social Psychology with First Class Honours, Kate Prentice. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with First Class Honours, Angela Elliott. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with First Class Honours, Srina Purohit. Thank you. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with Honours, Tanya De Silva. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with Honours, Linda Dimbambu. For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with Honours, Lisa Mukutirwa. Yes! Yes, I've made it! Thank you, Jesus! For the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with Honours, Jack Sheehy. No, really good. And for the degree of Bachelor of Science Open with Honours, Reino Trout. Thank you. <laughs> Very well done to each of you. Congrats, guys. Congratulations. Well done. I shall now present graduates who have gained a foundation degree and graduates who have gained the Diploma of Higher Education. For a foundation degree in counselling, Chantelle Langdon. For a foundation degree in counselling, Kim Sinclair. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Childhood and Youth Studies, Krishna Mistry. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Law, Samir Ray. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Mathematical Sciences, Omar Badoui. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Psychology, Claire Furlong. What's wrong? For the Diploma of Higher Education Open, Cameron Dalburn. And for the Diploma of Higher Education Open, Tina Vitozzi. Well done to each of you. <laughs> Graduates. There will now follow a personal message from the Pro Vice Chancellor for Research, Enterprise and Scholarship, Professor Kevin Shakechef. Please do keep your microphone on as we come back to you for a huge round of applause following this address, which will conclude today's ceremony. Well, firstly and most importantly, congratulations. Thank you for joining us on this very special day to recognise what you've achieved. And I have to say, although we couldn't meet up in person, it was lovely to see the ceremony being joined by various cats and dogs, children, the odd glass of wine. So I hope you had a really, really good experience, although it's not quite the physical graduation that, uh, that we would hope to have in the future. Uh, my thanks and congratulations go out to the entire OU family, your dedicated associate lecturers and advisors, the expert academics who write your courses, the designers and technologists who bring them to life on the screen, and all the professional services that make the OU what it is, second to none. Almost every one of you studied alongside other demanding responsibilities and commitments at work, with children, or as a carer. And I know that sometimes it's been tough. That would be in the case in normal times, let alone getting through a pandemic. 
No wonder employers tell us that what they like about OU graduates is that you're self-starters and determined. You've juggled study and deadlines with many other demands. When we started back in 1969, our pioneer students and staff really were taking a step into the unknown, putting their faith in a university that was using new methods of teaching and would be open to everybody. We wanted our students to choose us, not us to choose them. Until you progress to postgraduate or re research degrees, the only question we ask you for most of our courses is what do you want to learn? You all said yes, and that gave us our mission. Many thought the OU would fail, but instead it's now one of the most successful universities in the world, with over, over 2 million students who have studied with us. That's not just a university, it's a social movement. It's you, our students, who make the OU, but we also owe a huge debt of graduate gratitude to the vision of the university founders. Foremon foremost among them was Jenny Lee, to whom Prime Minister Harold Wilson gave the job of setting up the university, and a woman whose own journey from a Scottish mining community to Minister of State shaped in no small measure what the OU is today. Jenny Lee believed that the OU had to be a university for everybody, and it would do that while maintaining the highest academic and professional standards. No one would be able to criticise the OU for dumbing down. You, our graduates, have achieved those high standards of scholarship and professional practice that Jenny Lee was determined we'd maintained, while opening up that opportunity to more people than ever before. And she was determined too that we would also be a respected research university, currently ranked amongst the top third of research universities in the UK, making discoveries, inventing new products and methods, enabling us to understand each other better and live together peacefully and without endangering the planet. Curiosity and experimentation are what drive us. And I'm so glad that you chose to join the most human of adventures to live and learn. Some of, us, some of you joined us because you are curious. Many were looking to advance or change your career. You'll find OU graduates in every employment sector, often at the highest levels, and you'll find thousands of businesses started by OU graduates as well. We've recently measured the economic impact of our university. We spend almost 500 million pounds per year, but that produces an economic impact of almost three billion pounds per year. So that's six pounds generated for every one pound that we spend as a university. Most of that return is in the higher lifetime earnings that OU graduates go on to achieve, but there's also a social return. Graduates are on average healthier and happier than non-graduates, more likely to participate in their communities or in politics, and much less likely to be taken in by misinformation. And the OU has a social mission to bring learning to people, whoever and wherever they are. That's why we partner with the BBC to produce programmes like Hospital or the Blue Planet series. It's why we make available hundreds of free short courses on Open Learn, Future Learn, taken by millions of people and for many a lifeline during this pandemic. Across England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland, we work with employers, community organisations, trade unions and others to reach people where they are so they can take the first steps into higher education. We work with care organisations, the armed forces, prisons, job centres, colleges and schools, constantly innovating in how we provide higher education. If you're an Uber driver, for example, Uber will pay for you and your family to study at the OU for free. And if you watch Spring Watch on the BBC last year, the garden survey of insects, pollinators that Chris Packham invited viewers to take part in was run by the OU's award-winning citizen science platform called Enquire. Completion of your qualification means you join a community of Open University alumni around the world. You can continue to keep up with news, access career advice, or come back to study with us. The motto on the university's crest, live and learn, is a call to action. To learn and by learning to really live. 
Please do good with what you've learned and encourage others to live and learn as well. As you sign off today, you will hopefully become an ambassador for the Open University and all that is remarkable about our institution and what it stands for. Its values of social and environmental justice, its belief in inclusion and diversity, and above all, its vision to be open to people, places, methods, and ideas. Do share your experience with others. Let them know what your journey has meant to you and what it could mean for them. We're hugely proud of you well done, many, many congratulations. That concludes today's celebrations. Thank you for taking part. We hope you enjoyed it. Do please stay in touch with us via our alumni, careers and students association teams. On behalf of the Ceremony Centre and everyone at the Open University, we wish you every success for the future.